Hello everyone, this is Brett. Uh, this is a really exciting because I uh, just received and unpacked the vinyl editions of the 20th anniversary editions of Audra's Going to Theater. This was our second album release back on April 23rd, 2002 on Project Records. Uh, the first time this has ever been released on vinyl. Uh, just a month or so ago, we released a double CD edition with a bunch of bonus tracks, but I'm gonna walk you through uh, the three different colors as well as the CD, if you hadn't seen that already. Um, if you're interested in order ordering one of these, we're gonna be um, signing them for the Kickstarters and numbering them, Kickstarter contributors, uh, throughout the week and getting those out. Um, but audra.bandcamp.com slash merch if you wanna look at just the physical merch. Um, I'll put a link down below. So let's take a look at the vinyl edition. Uh, first shout out to uh, James Todd who does all of our artwork design and did a beautiful job with this. Martin Bose from Cage Studios, former uh, label mate on project from Attrition, did a great job on the mastering. Thanks to everyone else. Michael Laird who did a bunch of mixing for the bonus tracks on the album. Um, Sarah for all your work on everything helping out. So. It's a gatefold sleeve. Let's look at that spine there. Back cover with the track listing on top, A side, B side. And then we open up the gatefold. Look at how beautiful that is. We have the lyrics to all the songs and I wrote an essay in there called 20 years ago. Look at me, they're right there. Bart and Robert, Robert was in the band back then. Uh, there's me. Some of the photos were taken by Sam Rosenthal, Project Records, Black Tape for Blue Girl. Uh, Edward Cannon did that photo. There's some live shots of me and Bart. So beautiful. Uh, so let's look at the three different colors. Um, I should also mention these are each color is limited to only 100 and um, a bunch of them are already sold. So if you want to uh, reserve one right now, um, there's that link. So. The three different colors are themed and named after songs off of the album. So let's start with uh, this one here. All right, this, this first one is the Snakes edition, named after the song, There Are No Snakes in Heaven. And let me see where I'm gonna put these. And um, well, let's just look at it. <laughs> these turned out even better than I expected. So, oh, I also wanna mention that, you know, being a vinyl collector like it's so annoying when you get like you you know you pay money and you get those cheap white paper sleeves in this beautiful packaging so i did black inner sleeves they're poly lined so the records slide out nicely and uh, i think you guys will appreciate that because i know i appreciate it so this is the snakes edition let's take a look at the a side so it's a mixture of green and black and there's the label you guys probably recognize that label from the original CD. So there's the A side. They call this color style A side, B side. And then on the B side, it's a totally different black and green mixture. They do all these by hand. Um, just beautiful. So that's the Snakes edition. So cool. All right, let's take a look at the next one. So this next one is, uh, so the opening track on going to the theater, Midnight Moon Swing. This is called the Midnight Moon edition it is half clear half gray and then it has black splatter throughout this also turned out <laughs> incredible so there's you can see the clear and then the gray on that right side and then the black splatter throughout and every vinyl copy is going to look slightly different from one another, from one another because they're um, they're done individually as i mentioned so that's the midnight moon edition and then Kind of a, the song a lot of people know Audra from, Cabaret Fortune Teller. This one's themed uh, after that song, and it's called Purple Lights Edition from the line wrapped in purple lights. So this is clear. Let me flip it over to the A side. Clear with purple splatter throughout. <laughs> Very cool. This is the Purple Lights Edition. Um, turned out absolutely beautiful. All right, so if you're interested in grabbing any of these, audra.bandcamp.com link will be in the description. But don't go away yet. If you are CD um, collectors, I want to show you that edition as well. Once again, back cover in this gatefold. All the lyrics 
Oh, just turned out absolutely beautiful. So the CD edition, as I mentioned earlier, um, has a bunch of bonus tracks on it. So here it is. It's a standard jewel case, which these days I tend to favor a lot more than the digi packs. And it includes a booklet. Let me just let's go through it all. So it's got the clear tray because it has two CDs in it. Open them up if I can do this right on camera. And there's the picture. Oh, there's me and Bart. So the two discs and then the booklet. I'll flip through it here. It has all the lyrics just like the, um, there's the back cover of the booklet. Now there's me, there's one of the photos from Sam. All the lyrics to the songs. I'll just do a little flip through. There's Bart. And then that essay that I wrote is in that red area. We've got all the credits and then the back cover. Um, as I said before the, with the bonus track, so disc one is the original 10 songs remastered and then there are 20 bonus tracks on the second disc. Um, it has new, for those of that you were around for all my live streams that I did over 2020 and 2021, I re-recorded I re new reimagined acoustic versions of the original 10 songs. Michael Laird, uh, my friend, um, also in Unto Ashes, I play with him in that band. Um, and then two tracks that were from the going to the theater sessions that I re-recorded acoustically, Loneliness and puppets. It has compilation appearances, Let the Reindeer Live on My Roof from the uh, Project Excelsis, uh, Joy Division's Walked in Line, Christian Death's Glass House covers. It has three outtakes from uh, the original sessions in 2001, Falling, which uh, we ended up being on uh, going to the th or on Dear Tired Friends. We still have copies of vinyl of Dear Tired Friends on CD and vinyl. Jason and the Doors original version of that, which ended up appearing on Everything Changes and then Loneliness, an outtake of, which is one of the tracks that I ended up um, re-recording to in the imagination. And then it has two live tracks, In a Dark Room and Midnight Moon Swing, taken from the live at the Mason Jar CD, which was an exclusive for everyone that contributed to the uh, Kickstarter campaign, um, bought a CD or vinyl. So, I know I'm talking really fast, but uh, it's not every day that you get to uh, receive this in the mail, first time on vinyl. So super cool, my birthday was just yesterday and so this was an, an amazing birthday gift to get. So anyways, take a look at that link um, and uh, hope you guys love it. We'll be getting these out as soon as we can. So thanks for watching.